Hey there, welcome to Fishing For Real. My name's Ken. Today I'm gonna go over a little tutorial on how I make my salted shrimp. Now you can go buy fresh shrimp and de uh, shell it and devein it and all that fun stuff. But this way, I just go to Walmart or any store, get some uh, small peeled and deveined uh, frozen shrimp. Five bucks, right? Use some salt that is uh, got no iodine in it, just like livestock salt or something, pure salt. Uh, I'll show you in a second here what I do. Let's get going. Okay, I've got my container here. I buy this as a 50 pound bag of uh, this cattleman salt. It's just plain salt. There's no iodine. It's very important. You can use sea salt or whatever. It's going to be more expensive than the stuff that you buy at the uh, tractor supply or whatever. But this is just plain salt, no iodine. If you use something with iodine, it's going to give your shrimp a metallic taste. The fish probably won't even touch it. Got my uh, raw shrimp here, peeled and deveined. Got 12 ounces here, five bucks. Cut along the line or rip along the line, pour them in there. These things are going to have a lot of water in them. They're frozen, obviously. But uh, I'll probably just let them sit here and thaw a bit. But once they've uh, thawed out, put the lid on here. I got a good bit of salt in here. Shake and shake. Shake and bake. Yep. There we go. Now the shrimp are on the bottom. They're coming up to the top. They're lighter, less dense than the salt is. So there they are, coated with salt. I'll let that sit a while. And, uh, once they've soaked in the salt as much as they can, the salt probably will going to get wet. I'll sift them off. I'll put them in a colander or something to sift off the salt and do this again until no more moisture is coming out. All right, here is the shrimp after it's been sitting in this salt for about a day in the fridge. The salt is wet. It's not sticking together. I don't know if that's a feature of the type of salt or what, but it's wet. I can feel the moisture in it, but the shrimp itself is in here. It's pretty tough, kind of springy. It's toughened up considerably. Still a little flexible. So I'm going to get the salt out of here, separate the shrimp from the salt, put the salt in another container, and re-salt this shrimp. A new batch of salt in here. Dump my shrimp back in there. Make sure it's well mixed in. Oops, a little messy. Messy's my middle name. There you go, there's resalted shrimp after one day in the salt. We'll put it back in the fridge and check her again tomorrow. Okay, folks, here we are back. This is really day three. I didn't touch these yesterday. I let them soak in the salt a little longer. The salt is moist, damp. It's not sop sopping wet, but it is damp from the moisture that it's pulled out of these shrimp. They're still soft when I squeeze them. They're not hard, firm. They're they're firming up. There's still moisture in them. I can tell. So I'm gonna swap out this salt again. I'm gonna pluck all these out of here. Put them in a little Ziploc and uh, set them aside. Swap out this salt with some fresh, dry salt. Let them soak some more. Might be a couple of days, but I want these. They're kind of spongy. Not like a sponge, but they have some resiliency. I want them pretty hard. I want them dried out and soaked out as much water as I can get out of them. That way they'll last real good. They won't go bad. 
in a car in a boat. I can keep them in the fridge and not have to freeze them or anything to make them last a long time. So I'm going to swap them out, put some more salt in them. Check back then. Alright, back out here. Oops. So there's my shrimp and my third batch of salt. I'm going to let these set in here in the fridge for another day or two, I guess. See if they dry out a little bit more. Okay, back at it. Hopefully one last try here. This is my latest, my last bag of salted shrimp. still has some moisture in it. It's still a little soft, but that's fine. I mean, it's still usable. Salt is a little damp. You feel some dampness to it, so it not plump too badly. Is this, is the shrimp fully cured? There's some moisture in it, but not much. I mean, I could squeeze the steam. It seems like it's about what I've done in the past. So what I'll probably do, I'll call this done. And this bit of a light there, it is just a salted shrimp tail. So I'll put all these in a smaller Ziploc bag. They'll still have some salt on them. That should keep them from spoiling, because they've had the bulk of the moisture pulled out of them by this salt and they should be uh, durable and I can keep them in the fridge because I mean why not that being said I mean I can keep them in the fridge they're not going to spoil because they're refrigerated but they're also not going to spoil because they're very heavily salted like I said I still will keep some salt on them still keep them in the fridge but I feel comfortable that I'll be able to take these out for a day of fishing and not worry about them spoiling because if you've ever taken shrimp fishing you know, shrimp out in the weather it does not take long for it to go bad once it's bad it's not nearly as useful for uh, fishing and it comes apart really easy this should stick together well so there it is the final product salted shrimp tails I'm gonna rebag them in a smaller portable bag still keep them in the fridge still keep some salt on them I'm not gonna rinse it off obviously but uh, that's a good way you want to make yourself some salted shrimp to bring to the coast to use for bait. And you won't have to worry about it spoiling on you. Keeping it on ice, keeping it refrigerated. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.